Greetings, and for this installment of material science problems, we will calculate the number average molecular weight of a copolymer given uh, certain parameters. The number average molecular weight is given as m bar subscript n and we are given that the uh, copolymer itself is a poly wait for it acrylonitrile butadiene copolymer. Now also given in the problem is the fraction of butadiene is 0 0.3. So from there we can figure out the fraction of acrylonitrile pretty easily. It's simply 1 minus that other fraction because it's only 2 polymers in this copolymer, so the fraction of the acrylonitrile is 0.7. We are also given that the degree of polymerization is 2,000 repeat units per molecule. Okay, we're going to have to look some stuff up and do some calculations. For example, what is acrylonitrile and what is butadiene? Okay, for starters, uh, the acrylonitrile, just going to put A here, as a repeat unit, looks like this. If you're working off the textbook I do, this is in Appendix D. So we have three hydrogens coming off, and then we have another carbon, but we don't have a methyl group. We have all three bonds going to a nitrogen. And that is our acrylonitrile repeat unit. So we need to find the mass of one of these repeat units. So we've got carbon here got hydrogens, we've got nitrogens. We've got three of them, three hydrogens and one nitrogen. And we're going to multiply by its mass, 12.011, it's a zero there, AMU. That's 36.033 AMU. Hydrogen is 1.008 AMU. 0.024. And then the nitrogen is 14.007. There's only one of them, so 14.007. And we add all those up to find the mass of one of these repeat units. We end up with 14, carry the one, six, zero, 
13 and 5, 53.064 AMUs per repeat unit. Likewise for the butadiene, we need to look that up. And its repeat unit has four carbons in a row. And the remainders are hydrogens, So, we add these up, and for carbon, we've got four of them at 12.011 AMU equals 48.04. AMU and for hydrogen we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one point zero zero eight AMU six point zero four eight. Add them up. Okay, well, we needed to do that because our key equations will lead us to needing those values. So our key equations, first off, we're going to use this uh, degree of polymerization. We need the def definition of that, and by using that, we will be able to relate the number average molecular weight to the molecular weight of the copolymer. But before we can do that, we'll have to figure out what this is. The molecular weight of a copolymer has to do with the fraction of each component of the copolymer. So I have to add up the fractions times the molecular weight of each fraction. Luckily, we have everything we need for this one. We have the fraction of acrylonitrile times its molecular weight plus the fraction of the butadiene times its molecular weight. So that's 0.7 times 53.064 AMU. That's from here. I add to it 0 0.3, which is the fraction we had here, and multiply it by 54.092 AMU, and we got that from here. 
after multiplying these, adding them up, we get 53.372. AMU, and now we'll take this and put it into this equation up here. So we're going to rearrange this equation so that m bar n equals degree of polymerization times m bar of the copolymer which is right here. DP is 2,000. Copolymer is here, so we take 2,000. Repeat units per molecule and multiply it by 53.372 AMU per repeat unit. Of course, that's the overall average. And I end up with 106745 AMUs per molecule. To recap, we were looking for the number average molecular weight for, of a copolymer, which can be found in this equation here, relating it to the degree of polymerization and the average molecular weight of one repeat unit. We are given the degree of polymerization. So it really was left to determine the average molecular weight of the repeat unit of the copolymer. In order to do that, we had to look up each of the components of them and find the molecular weight of each of the components here and here. But also we needed to know the fraction of each of those components. So we were given what one of the components is and because there's only two components we are able to subtract that from one and find the fraction of the other component and then take these components these fractions plug them into the equations right here do our calculation for the molecular weight of one average repeat unit. From there, we're able to plug that into this equation. We arranged it looked like this, and our multiplication ends up with this value, 106,745 AMUs per molecule.